Good morning, good morning. It's your boy Carter. Welcome to Carter's Life. I sit down sometimes and I have a long thought process with myself. And I come up with scenarios for myself. Today I want to talk to y'all about a scenario that's real. It's called the journey. And when you do a journey, sometimes you got to take on a journey by yourself. Sometimes you have to walk into a, a journey and be at peace with yourself. I get people every single week asking me about things that I really don't have the answer to y'all. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have an answer for y'all sometimes. People ask me about, like, Carter, how do you survive through this time and that, that time? Only thing I can tell you is this. I'm not a relationship expert because trust me, I don't have my fair share of failed ones. But let me tell you like this. Somebody once told me God will send you a wife when the time is right. Some people know that you're going to be their husband before you know you're going to be their husband. Some people know you're, that you're going to be their, they're going to be your wife before you know you're going to be their wife. Some people know God tells them in advance. Why do you think they fight so hard for you? Why do you think they tell you like, look, I love you. I care for you, but I need you to change up your ways. We're going to stop right there at change up your ways. Something that somebody may want you to do may not be good for you, for them, but it's good for you. That's part of your journey. You have to be prepared to know that not every time you walk into a scenario that you're going to be right. But not everybody knows what's right for you. Everybody don't know what's right for you. There are some people out there who will be like, well, I went through this and this works for me. This worked for me. Well, that's cool. That worked for you. That don't mean it's going to work for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what a lot of people's downfall is. And it's not social media. It's the main, it's the thought process of social media, of what's going on on there. It's that thought process. That's what destroys people. Are they doing this on there? How come they have this? Why you got this many people? Why is that? You know, you start hearing that, and that's what destroys a relationship. Let me also make this clear to y'all. We don't appreciate people like we used to. We don't appreciate people who come into our lives, and they, they're really trying to tell us, like, look, you might want to slow down because you about to go off the deep end. That's your journey. You're supposed to go off the deep end. And, you know, you're supposed to, it's like they say, uh, when they used to throw a baby in a swimming pool to teach it how to swim, how will it know what to do if it don't hit the water and go into uncharted territory? Somebody's there to catch you or bring you back up in case you start to sink, but they can't swim for you every time. <laughs> I want to tell y'all, like, when you're going through your journey and if it's meant for you to be around somebody and it's meant for y'all to, to mesh and it's meant for y'all to be, once you guys have become whatever it is, don't do anything that makes them feel like they have to continuously prove themselves to you. Because I'm going to tell you something about proving yourself to somebody over and over. It gets old after a while. And one thing your mind will tell you is like, man, look, I'm I'm tired of this. I, I'm tired of, I'm hearing the same thing. I'm tired of going through the same thing. This 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 part of our journey either needs to get fixed or be done. And your mind will tell you that. I don't care how much you love somebody. If somebody is constantly breaking you down and they're not listening to you when you're talking, your, your mind will tell you like, I've had enough. I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. So I need you to put us first. Once the mind tells the body and everything else, yo, I need you to put us first. Guess what? Guess who's going to be put first? So when you go on your journey, I'll just pull up to the store. When you're going on your journey, go on it alone sometimes. You ever just went on a walk and this is you and your thoughts? Think about everything you're, you want to accomplish. Don't think about what didn't happen last year. Don't think about that. Think about where you want to be this year. Think, matter of fact, think about where you want to be in the next 30 days. And let that be your goal. Let that be your journey you're walking towards. 
And I promise you, if you just take a little bit at a time instead of trying to do it all at once, you'll have what you want, what you need. Your faith in God and everything you believe in will come to fruition. You just got to stop trying to fix you while you breaking somebody else down. The journey, Carter's life.